Hi everyone, so I plan to do a video with Vlad this weekend to discuss my traits report from Genome Link. Two of our daughters made the decision to be baptized on Saturday. We are very proud of them and that event took most of our day. On Sunday, Vlad had to catch up on some yard work. He's outside cutting down trees and bushes while I'm preparing this video. We're still going to do the traits report video together, but it will probably come out later in the week. If you watched me before, you already know that I get caught up in doing research on topics that interest me. If you're new to the channel, I'm Dr. Trish Varner. I have a PhD in IO psychology, but over the last few years, my family and I have been on an ancestry related journey to discover more about our family's history. You can check out the family ancestry journey playlist to catch up. I also feature ancestry or DNA related topics from other families or areas. Occasionally, I talk about other things as well. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell if you would like more videos. A few days ago, Katanji Brown Jackson was confirmed as the 116th Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. She is the first black woman to sit on the Supreme Court. In this video, I'm going to discuss her family tree, including her family connection to former House Speaker Paul Ryan, who is a Republican. Katanji Onyeka Brown Jackson was born on September 14, 1970 in Washington, D.C. There has been some curiosity about her nationality and her ethnicity, two things which people get confused. Katanji's nationality is American, as she was born here. In the United States, nationality is based on the person's origin of birth. Katanji is a descendant of enslaved black Americans. Katanji's ethnicity is black American. Some of the confusion regarding Katanji's ethnicity comes from her having an African name. Katanji's parents were also born in the United States. However, they decided to give their daughter an African name, which means lovely one. It is not uncommon for some black Americans to choose an African name for their children, as it's a way to connect to a culture that was lost when enslaved Africans were unwillingly transported from West Africa to the Americas. I also selected an African name for my first daughter. Her name means to show a bright sign. In fact, I'm pretty sure Katanji's middle name, Anyika, was also on my short list of names for my daughter. I ultimately decided to go with a different African name. I did not give my youngest children an African name because at that point, after years of working in corporate America, I had first-hand experience with name discrimination. Job seekers with African or African-American names are 50% less likely to get an interview than people with European or American names. I had my youngest children in my late 30s and did not want to see them discriminated against more than they would already be. It's nice to know that Katanji Anyika Brown Jackson and Barack Hussein Obama were able to defy the odds and obtain high career positions. However, many black Americans are still discriminated against because of their names. But it seems Katanji did have to work harder than others. In high school, she was told by a counselor to focus on more realistic goals than Harvard University. Despite her counselor's lack of confidence in her, Katanji went on to attend Harvard for college and law school. At an event celebrating her historic confirmation to the Supreme Court at the White House, Katanji quoted Maya Angelou's poem, Still I Rise. Here is a clip. But no one does this on their own. The path was cleared for me so that I might rise to this occasion. 
and in the poetic words of Dr. Maya Angelou, I do so now while bringing the gifts my ancestors gave. I, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. Katanji's husband of 25 years, Dr. Patrick Graves Jackson, is chief of gastrointestinal surgery at MedStar Georgetown University Hospital and an associate professor of surgery at Georgetown University. The two met in college and have two daughters, Talia, who is 21 years old and is studying at a university, and Layla, who is 17 years old. When Layla was just 11 years old, she wrote a letter to then President Barack Obama advocating for why her mother should be nominated to the Supreme Court. You may have heard stories about Katanji being related to former House Speaker Paul Ryan, who is a Republican. I know when I first heard the story, I was confused about the relationship, so I did some research about it and we'll break it down for you here. Katanji's husband, Patrick, has a twin brother named William Jackson. William is married to Dana Little Jackson. Dana is Jana Ryan's sister. Jana Ryan is Paul Ryan's wife. That seems to be a few layers of separation. So there isn't any direct family relationship and some could argue that there really isn't a formal relationship by marriage either. However, they probably cross paths and are in similar circles. They at least have a close enough relationship for Republican Paul Ryan to back Democrat Katanji Brown Jackson. Paul Ryan publicly stated our politics may differ, but my praise for Katanji's intellect, for her character, and her integrity is unequivocal. Katanji's parents, Jonathan Sigmund Brown and Ellery Ross Brown, who have been married for 54 years, attended segregated schools in the Jim Crow South. They both graduated from historically black colleges and began their careers as public school teachers. Ellery Brown became a school principal. Johnny Brown went on to law school and became the chief attorney for the Miami-Dade County School Board. Katanji said her father studied law while she was in preschool studying how to color. Johnny Brown had a large influence on Katanji's decision to also study law. Katanji has a younger brother, Kataj Brown, who is a graduate of Howard University. He is listed on LinkedIn as the Commercial Litigation Associate at K&L Gates in Chicago. Katanji is a descendant of enslaved ancestors. I found information on her maternal line going back to slavery. Her maternal grandfather, Horace Ross, was born in 1910, and her maternal grandmother, Uzera Green, was born in 1917 in Georgia. The family eventually relocated to Miami, Florida. Miami was heavily segregated, and black Americans were kept in cramped quarters in what they called the colored town. Florida was a dangerous area for black Americans. For example, the Rosewood Massacre, a racially motivated massacre of black residents occurred in Florida. The South in general was not a safe place for black people. Imagine how difficult living while black had to be in Georgia for the family to decide that Miami was a better risk. Katanji's great-grandfather, Hassey Jones, was born in 1901 in Georgia. Georgia also had oppressive segregation laws and terrorist mobs ransacked black communities. It appears the Ross family left Georgia during the Great Depression. The Great Depression in Georgia forced thousands of black sharecroppers out of farming. 
the Ross family perhaps moved to Miami to look for anything to hold on to for survival. Hassie's father, Katanji's great-great-grandfather, Andrew Jones, was born before the end of slavery. Andrew was born in 1853 in South Carolina, and he died in 1932 in Georgia. Katanji's great-great-grandmother, Sarah Rawson, was born in 1873 in Georgia, and Sarah's father, Robert, was born in 1825 in Virginia and died in Randolph County, Georgia. Many black Americans can trace their lineages back to Virginia where laws allowing free men to own slaves were passed around 1705. Katanji's three times great-grandfather Robert could very well have come directly from Africa. I did not find documentation of that particular family line prior to Robert. Six generations passed from when Katanji's three times great-grandfather Robert lived in Virginia to when his great-great-great-granddaughter Katanji Anyika Brown Jackson became the associate justice of the highest court in the land. I can only imagine how overwhelmed Katanji's ancestors must have felt being taken from Africa against their will to arrive to a strange land where they were treated like cattle and property. It had to take a tremendous amount of strength and will to look past their horrible conditions and have hope for a better day. From Katanji's ancestors first arriving to this country to when her parents fought through Jim Crow segregationist laws, the family encountered tremendous difficulties that threatened to end the family line. However, they persevered in hope and belief that one day they too would be included in the American dream. We can only imagine how they would feel now if they could see their struggle was not in vain. Katanji said it best in this clip. From my grandparents on both sides, who had only a grade school education, but instilled in my parents the importance of learning. To my parents, who went to racially segregated schools growing up and were the first in their families to have the chance to go to college. I am also ever buoyed by the leadership of generations past who helped to light the way. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Justice Thurgood Marshall, and my personal heroine, Judge Constance Baker Motley. They and so many others did the heavy lifting that made this day possible. And for all of the talk of this historic nomination and now confirmation, I think of them as the true path breakers. I am just the very lucky first inheritor of the dream of liberty and justice for all. <laughs> to be sure, I have worked hard to get to this point in my career, and I have now achieved something far beyond anything my grandparents could have possibly ever imagined. But no one does this on their own. We have come a long way toward perfecting our union. In my family, it took just one generation to go from segregation to the Supreme Court of the United States. Well done, Katanji Anyika Brown Jackson, daughter of Johnny and Ellery, granddaughter of Hassie, great-great-granddaughter of Sarah, great-great-great-granddaughter of Robert. You have made your ancestors proud. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, consider subscribing if you would like to be notified of future videos. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time.